Hello, welcome to another week of new game releases. Oh, it's so good to be back among the living to talk about these games with you. Woo, spooky, spooky games. Okay, here we go. I'm a little bit of a cold this weekend, so I feel kind of shitty right now. But that's okay. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this. You know, we're all gonna get through this together. Yeah, listen to that shit. Okay, here we go. Top game of the week. Back for Blood is coming out on PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Series S and X. Next we have Aeon Must Die coming to PC, PS4, Switch, and Xbox One. Who was this game made by? I don't know. They weren't paid for it, apparently. So should you pay for this? Probably not. Ah. Okay, uh, next we have Dungeon Encounters. Ooh, do you think you'll encounter something like me in a dungeon? You might. <laughs> this is a new dungeon crawler from Square Enix. The uh, masters, I guess, of role-playing games. If you want to check it out, it'll be on PC, PS4, and Switch. Mm. Next, we have the Jackbox Party Pack number 8. Uh, hold on. Eh. Eh, hold on, hold on, here we go. Oh, that's great. Number eight. <laughs> yeah, there's been eight of these things now. Uh, there's, there's more. You draw funny pictures and you write things like, like boob and, uh, and pee pee and, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, Mormon Tabledack Choir or whatever. And, and people laugh. It's fun. Anyways, you can get that on your mobile devices. Uh, also, on uh, game consoles, because uh, of the video game. What is it? Oh, P PC, PS4, uh, Switch, and Xbox One, of course. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see what else. Oh, ooh, Demon Slayer! Oh, no! No, not Demon Slayer! Not Demon Slayer! Oh, don't do that to demons! Oh, that's a scary game for me! Because... <laughs> Because of this. Uh, anyway, Demon Slayer, the he 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 no Kami Chronicles. Uh, that's coming out uh, based on the anime from uh, Japan, uh, as opposed to all those like uh, Ugandan animes, I guess. Uh -huh. uh, it'll be on PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Series S and X. Lastly, notable er, top games. Uh, we have The Good Life from Sweary, Hidetaka Suehira. God, I feel like an asshole. I probably said his name wrong. Anyway, he goes by Sweary, Sweary65, whatever you want to call him. Uh, that, it's a, a, a mystery game where you're a, a, like a journalist who's investigating a murder in a small town. But you find out that at night, everyone turns into cats and dogs. <gasps> Wow, how crazy. That's coming out on PC, PS4, Switch, and Xbox One. Ports, Disco Elysium is finally coming to the Switch. I thought it was already on Switch. Guess not. Next, the Crisis Remastered Trilogy is coming out, letting you see that uh, guy's gigantic ass in, piece, uh, in 4K on PC, PS4, and Xbox One, and, and in not 4K on the uh, Switch stuff. Yeah. Uh, next, we have Glay Lancer coming on PS4, PS5, Switch, Xbox One, and Series S and X. This is an old Sega Genesis game that never came out in America, and now we finally are getting it. Hooray! Uh, expansions Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is releasing its final DLC character with Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Oh, do you love Kingdom Hearts? Yes, the Heartless are trying to take your heart, but you can't let them. And now Sora is going to fight for something. 
in this Smash Brothers world. I, th is there a boss in that game? There, dude, who cares? If you just want to see Sora beat up Ma Mario and Samus and all them stuff. Anyway, it'll be fun. Check it out. Uh, you know, keep everything simple and clean. We'll be good from there. Everything else. Uh, Monster Crown, PC, PS4, Switch, and Xbox One, Quintadel, PC, and Switch, Starlight Alliance on PC and Switch, The Rift Breaker on PC, PS5, and Series S and X, Mad Streets on PC, uh, NHL 22 on PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Series S and X. Yeah, turn pages here. Let's talk about uh, notable titles of the week, yes, the notable titles. What are they? I'm gonna tell you right now. They're all really, really good, I promise you that. Ten years ago, Batman Arkham City came out. The sequel to Arkham Asylum that showed licensed games don't have to be complete and utter crap. You could make a good licensed game if you cared about the source material and you showed respect to uh, the characters and the world that they came from and tried to emulate it, you know, uh, perfectly on screen. Uh, something that other games tend to not do or spend the money to do, but they did. The team at Rocksteady did a really, really good job. I love this game. Oh, one of my all-time favorites. I could spend hours just going through Arkham City, beating the shit out of random villains. Uh, it's good stuff. The Joker's in it, Mark Hamill does the voice and all that, you know. Um, anyway, great game. Uh, what else can I say about it? Play it. It's available on just about anything you can think of. Uh, check it out. 20 years ago, Devil May Cry came out on the PlayStation 2. Oh, while I love this game with the word devil in the title, I'm a bit concerned that it's about a man named Dante who kills demons. Not again! <laughs> I coughed because I have a cold. <laughs> uh, it came out on PS2, one of the uh, first kind of 3D action games to come out in this new era of, of, uh, of uh, what, what was that, like the, the fifth generation of consoles or something? I don't know. Uh, look it up. Anyway, uh, made, uh, directed by, uh, uh, who's that guy? Hideki Kamiya, who would go on to make De Bayonetta and Beautiful Joe and other things. Anyways, Devil May Cry. Uh, was a, a watershed moment, so to, as, as they say, in the gaming industry, and uh, led to the creation of many, multiple copycats over the next decade, much like Dark Souls did when it came out. A Devil May Cry inspired multiple other copycats, and uh, so, if you uh, like 3D action games, you can thank Devil May Cry for that. 30 years ago, the game Toe Jam and Earl came out on the Sega Genesis. And while it may seem like a silly little game about two aliens lost on a planet trying to find pieces of their spaceship, it's actually, in my opinion, a very important game in the uh, representation of, of African Americans or, or black people on screen in video games. Before that, many of them were just sports figures or thugs in beat-em-up games, but now you could play as two aliens who were seemingly black people. It was great! Representation is needed! Just like, you know, everything else. Black people, Mexicans, Asian people, everyone wants to see themselves portrayed on screen. It's not a fucking... Like, it doesn't take a rocket science to figure that out. People like playing games as themselves. Okay? Oh, do, do you understand? That's why my favorite game is, obviously, uh... Oh shit, what's a game with a skeleton? Oh, Medieval! <laughs> Medieval's my favorite game. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, finally, uh, 40 years ago, Vanguard came out in arcades. One of the very first horizontal shoot 'em ups. Um, so if you like that genre of games, you can thank Vanguard for that. It was made by a company called uh, Tos, or Tose, I, I don't know how to say it. It's a Japanese company. And uh, published by SNK. And uh, yeah, you can't find it anywhere. You can just look up videos on YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna go, because I think I just lost my voice. 